Howdy chums. My name is Mohidin guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make use of the play, the pause and the stop buttons all together. Uh, guys, before I actually start teaching you how to make use of these buttons, um, let me show you a published preview by hitting control enter on my keyboard to test the movie as they technically call it. So here goes control enter and uh, I need to hit the play button to initiate the sound guys, the initiate the music and uh, you can actually hear the music in the background guys. I'm going to hit the pause button now. This makes sure that when you play or when you hit the play button once again, it will start off from where it actually left off. Alright. So I'm going to hit the play button once again. And this time I'm going to hit the stop button. And uh, which means that if I hit the play button now, it will not resume from where it, it actually left off. Not from that position, but from the very initial position from scratch guys. So that's uh, initiating the music from scratch. So this is the pause button guys, this is the play button and this is the stop button and they are working to perfection. Alright. And guys have a look uh, in the inside the actions panel where I have written the action script this morning. There you go. Uh, have around uh, 35 lines of action script. That's not too much considering that it's a play, pause, uh, stop functionality. Uh, three buttons with that functionality. It's not a very big script guys actually. Alright. So guys what I'll do is I'll actually make this project in a new file and uh, so that I, I can actually show you what were the ingredients that went into it. So let me say a file on a new. Okay and uh, I would be changing the background color right here and uh, setting it to pound sign triple three triple three. Okay. Uh, let me check on this option which says uh, auto save. Maybe this option is not available if you uh, would be using uh, CS5 or CS4. Let me then say okay. Okay, all right. Uh, <coughs> guys, the next thing that I would do is I would pull out those three buttons and they are in the buttons library. In case uh, you don't know how to get the buttons library, you just need to go to window, then you go, need to go to common libraries, then you need to go to button. And guys, uh, under the category which is uh, playback rounded, okay, let me open it up. And out there, there are uh, buttons of two colors, uh, the green and the gray. So let me pull out the gray buttons, right? So that's the play button. There we have the stop button and uh, the pause button right let me increase the size for all three of them after making sure I've selected all of them together right and then let me get them closer to each other well roughly in the center of the stage guys you should be using the alliance uh, tool to exactly center them but uh, for saving time I'm not showing it to you so let's assume they are more or less in the center of the stage now right all right and uh, let me then give them instance names that's a play underscore btn right this one is a pause underscore btn all right and this one guys is a stop underscore btn okay uh, let me call this layer buttons very appropriately okay let me insert one more layer guys and let me call this layer as3 because this will be hosting the action script what I'll be doing is I'll be fetching the action action script from the previous uh, file so I'll go out here in the actions panel let me copy everything control a control C and then drop it in the other new file that I'm creating right now and uh, drop it out here control V okay in fact it's, it's such a big script I thought uh, I'll just go through the motions of explaining it rather than typing it which would be very time consuming guys cool so now that the project is ready I'll explain the action script to you but before that uh, I think it's it's right that I should test the script uh, all over again so control enter to test the new file and uh, all right it says call to possibly undefined method soothing that's because guys I forgot to actually import the 
soothing uh, music sound I need to do that as well let me first save this file let me save it under play pause and stop music right and then uh, let me import the music so that's a file import import to the library <coughs> and then let me look for the sound in question that's the mp3 that I need to import I'll say open and guys it's sitting in the library now All right and then what I need to do is I need to right click and I need to say properties I need to go to the action script tab the interface may be a little different if you're using CS4 CS5 guys okay and then I'll uh, check on check this box which says uh, export for action script and uh, as far as the class name is concerned which we are going to use inside the actions panel I'll make it soothing all right I'll change it to soothing and let me say okay I'll ignore the warning that comes up and I'm gonna say okay once again and guys I should be fine now if I hit control enter on my keyboard right now uh, it starts to play that's a pause that's a resume that's a pause right resume and this is a stop that's a restart guys if you hit the start you know the stop button Th that's exactly what should happen when you hit the play button it should restart but if you hit the pause button it should resume that's exactly what is happening guys okay resume that's a stop and uh, that's starting from the very beginning cool so the script is firing just the way it should right and uh, now the time is ripe for me to explain whatever is inside the actions panel okay around 30 30 34 uh, lines of uh, action script guys let let us check it uh, all over again now these are some classes uh, that uh, usually get auto uh, generated when you write the code right so uh, line number four uh, which is a comment it says that I'm, I'm declaring all my variables now the first variable that I've uh, declared is uh, called is playing now variable names could be whatever you choose should not be a reserved word ideally okay and the type is a boolean guys and a variable which is a boolean can uh, only accept two values it can either be false or true so I'm setting it to false right I'm uh, declaring yet another uh, variable I'm calling it my music and that is where I'm saving the soothing music sound saving the music inside this variable right okay guys now <clears throat> you need a sound channel to be able to stop the sound unless and until you have the sound playing inside a channel you cannot stop the sound so I have to initiate uh, a variable called my channel of the type sound channel so that I should be able to stop the sound later on okay and uh, we have yet another variable called last position which I have set to zero now when we are using the pause functionality this will um, be of a lot of use right guys next what I've done is uh, I've attached event listeners to the play the pause and the stop buttons of the type mouse click okay and respectively they are executing functions on play click on pause click and on stop click now let's see what are inside these functions let's uh, talk about the function on play click first so whenever somebody clicks on play on the play button uh, line number 15 checks if playing is equal to is equal to false and guys if you remember in line number five we've actually set it to false uh, if it is false it will set the value from a false to a play or a true I'm sorry from a false to a true and uh, <clears throat> then through line number 16 guys I'm playing the music in the channel and this is how you do it so you make the channel equal to my music and if you remember guys my music is holding the soothing uh, music sound I'm using the play method here and I'm playing it from the very uh, you know from the very start if you remember last position has been set to zero so the first parameter that I've passed in out here the only parameter that I've passed in out here is the last position which was zero 
So it's playing the music from 0 milliseconds or in other words from the very beginning. Okay, inside the same function on play click guys is checking if uh, the sound has actually come, come to a halt or it's actually terminated or finished its play. So we can do that by using the sound underscore complete event. Okay, so which we need to attach to the channel guys. Channel is where the sound actually plays. So we've added an event listener to my channel of the type sound underscore complete and once the sound completes or once the music has finished playing a function called complete handler is executed and let's see what is inside the function complete handler. Uh, we are resetting the last position to zero and we are then uh, making sure that the variable of the type boolean which is is playing is reset back to false just the way it was earlier all right unless and until we carry out these two steps guys once the music terminates or finishes we'll not be able to play it again we need to reset the last position and we need to reset uh, the variable is position you know is playing to false just the way it was in the very beginning okay let's talk about on pause click function and on stop click as well okay when somebody clicks the pause button uh, the first check is whether the music is playing or not and we can find that out by making sure if it if is playing is false or not you know I'm sorry uh, if somebody clicks on the, the, the pause button what you need to do is you need to set the variable is playing to false that's the first thing that you need to do you need to set it to false because obviously when you hit the pause button the music should come to a halt that is the reason we should uh, you know set the variable is playing to false and the next thing that we'll do is we will retrieve the last you know the position of the music that is playing in the channel using the position property of my channel and we'll save the position which will be in terms of uh, seconds and milliseconds we'll save it inside the last position variable which was initially set to zero right we need to save the position uh, in a variable called last position because when you play it again we would want it to resume from the last position guys note out here when you hit the play button the music should play from the last position and since we want the pause functionality we need to save the current position whenever the pause button was hit inside the last position variable so that when we play it again in line number 16 we would uh, reinitiate uh, playing from the position it was stopped right and obviously we need to use the stop method to stop the music that is playing inside the channel right so that's the stop method that is used on the channel right now let's see what would happen if somebody hits the stop button the third button the one on the extreme right we first check if is playing is equal to is equal to true and if it is then we we do three things then the first thing that we need to do is we need to change the value of the variable is playing from a true to a false okay we would be resetting the last position to zero that's because when you hit the stop button and you hit the play button all over again guys it should not start from where it left off but it should start from the very beginning because it's a stop button it's not a it's not a pause button guys we don't need to retrieve the position as we did when we were uh, using the pause functionality and obviously guys uh, we would need to stop the channel through the uh, stop method that's it so guys uh, a little hardcore maybe uh, a little tough for some guys who do not understand the sound class properly uh, but if you are comfortable with the comfortable with the sound class uh, this should not be too difficult all right so guys uh, before i actually terminate this tutorial i would like to show you a published preview by hitting control enter and testing the movie so there goes that's a play that's a pause that's a play that's a stop and that's a play right so guys i hope you uh, enjoyed this tutorial learn something from it and uh, i hope to see you very soon with yet another fashion access script 3 tutorial you have a very good day guys
Bye-bye. Peace.